cataracts. We have all heard of them, but what are they? Welcome, Tony Blend. Hi there, how are you doing, Kuma? Very good. Um, well, Tony, what are cataracts? Well, the cataract is um, just uh, uh, where the lens in the eye goes a little hazy. So if you imagine um, dilating or making someone's pupil quite large and getting up quite close to them, now, if you think of the eye like a ball, um, there's a lens just behind the iris, and that's like a, like a little sort of cocktail onion. And normally it's nice and clear and focuses the light right through to the retina at the back of the eye. Um, and what happens in a cataract, it goes a little hazy and cloudy, and, and, and you can't usually see through it as well. Fantastic. Um, what advice would you give to someone who thinks they may have cataracts? What we usually recommend is just a, a regular eye check. Um, not all cataracts need removing, so that um, what happens at, at an early stage if the lens is just a little hazy, they don't necessarily need uh, correcting or fixing, if you like. So the idea is what we're doing is just monitoring them and talking to patients about uh, how their vision is and what the visual effects may be. And then when they get to be significant, they may be removed as well. Excellent. Um, what can be done to prevent cataracts? Um, usually two things. One is the, the, the two sort of the main common cause is just genetics, which obviously we can't do too much about. Um, but there's also an a fairly strong association with uh, smoking and also UV exposure. So usually we encourage smokers to, to stop uh, as well, and just minimising UV exposure. So using sunglasses outdoors, you know, as much as possible can can to uh, to sort of slow down and prevent their progression. Uh, and the other thing is they're far more common with age, which is something else that we can't do much about either. So there, there's some preventable things and, and some that aren't as well. So if someone, say, they feel like they, you know, they may have cataracts, they should you know, go and see a specialist. Does it, um, will it deteriorate more? Not necessarily. Um, most of them uh, uh, tend to change fairly gradually, and yes, some are faster than others. But the normal um, course of events is that we... Uh, you know, follow them over a period of time, and sometimes it may take five or ten years before they get to the stage where they really need doing. Once they've appeared, and you know, most people don't have cataracts at all. It's definitely something that occurs later in life as well. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, um, you know, generally, what parts of society would you know would be affected by cataracts? Pretty much, know? it affects everybody. It's pretty much an age-related thing. So, if we looked at everybody, for example, in their seventies and eighties, technically, everyone has a little bit of cataract because. The definition is just basically a little bit of haziness to the lens, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's visually significant enough that it needs removing either. You know, so often, uh, you know, just because they're there, it's not necessarily a, a bad thing. And the good thing about cataracts is, even though your vision can get blurrier over time, um, that blurriness is reversible because they can be removed. Whereas with other eye conditions, vision that you lose, you can't get back again. So. You know, no, nothing is perfect, but you know, if you're going to choose anything in cataract, it's probably the better one to have. Okay, excellent. Um, like, for instance, um, you always hear about cataracts. You know, I mean, yeah. everywhere in the world. But how does New Zealand fare with dealing with cataracts compared with other countries? Good. Our, 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 our health system handles them fine. I mean, naturally, with an aging population, you know, more, more people are developing cataracts as we have an aging population. Uh, but the New Zealand system is very efficient. So what happens is when people are, uh, reach the stage where the cataracts need removing, and for the majority of people that's where the driver's licence may become under threat from, from passing, um, they're referred to an eye specialist or an eye surgeon to, to assess the cataracts and have them removed. So uh, if that's done through the public health system, the average waiting list is around three or four months. So it's not like people are waiting for a really long period of time. Uh, and you know, naturally people can go privately and some choose to as well. Okay. Um, that, that sounds really great that there is you know, funding available. Mm -hmm. um, how will someone's sight be affected after surgery? Oh, the, the sight afterwards is amazing. That nowadays, because the technology has improved, the surgeons, when they're assessing people with cataracts, take really careful measurements of the eye and they can choose the power of the lens that they put inside. And so what that means is often people who needed glasses for their general vision, for driving and so on, um, beforehand, don't afterwards, and they can make that vision for your general vision nice and clear. Uh, and often, pe people still need glasses to read, but not as a full-time thing. And there's some situations too where often the surgeons are now making one eye clearer in the distance, the other eye clearer to read. So, uh, you know, some older folk are getting by without any glasses at all, and think that's fantastic. And uh, 
you know, it, it's almost like another form of vision correction, like the laser surgery that you sometimes see you know, being done as well. Well, that, really that is no, that is awesome. That is absolutely excellent. Mm -hmm. You can actually, um, you know, correct vision as well instead of wearing glasses. And, yes. You know, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and people are really impressed with it. Oh, fantastic. Um, is it painful? No. No, the surgery is a very straightforward process. What happens is the surgeons usually have like a, a, a preliminary visit where they take some measurements of your eyes and uh, this process itself is just a local anaesthetic so it's not usually, you don't need a general anaesthetic so uh, the process is very straightforward and um, people wear a patch over their eye for perhaps the rest of the day and then that's usually removed later in the day and, and perhaps the next day some, in some circumstances and then follow it up usually over the first month or so to keep a careful watch on how things are going. But the process is really easy. So sounds good, sounds good. So if someone feels like they do have it, it's best to go and see a specialist straight away and it can be dealt with very easily. Yeah. Usually we recommend having a regular check. The main reason why is some of the symptoms of early cataracts like um, maybe a little bit of loss of detail or sensitivity to the glare can be caused by other eye things as well. Um, but um, the answer is yes, we can often differentiate between them and then give people advice and, and then refer them to the specialist as necessary. Thank you very much for coming in today, Tony. Great, no problems. Thanks very much. 